Hello good day viewers, I'm here for the solution of the puzzle which I have posted on my Facebook page which reads I am a four digit number, I am a palindrome, my tens digit is three more than my thousand digit, the sum of my digits is 22, what number am I? You need to understand this question before you even start solving. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content. And don't forget to share to your learning colleagues. First of all, let us find out what is this palindrome. A word, phrase, number, or even sequence is said to be palindrome if and only if the way it reads forward is exactly the way it reads backward. Now let us consider numbers. Suppose we have a number one, two, three, two, one. Look at this pattern. One, two, three, two, one. Backward, one, two, three, two, one. The way it reads forward is exactly the way it reads backward. But this question says, I am a four digit number. So let's consider four digit number. One, two, two, one. Look at the pattern. One, two, two, one. One, two, two, one. The way it reads forward, it's exactly the way it reads backward. Okay, let's continue. So for this, let the numbers be, let, we are going to find out these numbers later. My tens digit, what is tens? You know, this is unit, tens, hundreds, thousands. My tens digit is three more than my thousand digits. First of all, knowing that this is a palindrome, the first and the last digit must be the same, the second and the third digit must be the same, considering this pattern. So this must be B and this must be A. If at all we want to consider it as palindrome, A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A, you get it? Okay, the tenth number or the tenth digit is three more than thousand digit. This is the thousand digit. So this number here is three more than this. So we have A, we have B. The tenth digit is three more than this. So we have three plus A instead of B. And the last one is still A. But remember, the second and the third one must be the same. Therefore, this must also be 3 plus A. So we can write this one as 3 plus A, and we have our A here. So we have 3, 3 plus A, 3 plus A, 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 3 plus A, 3 plus A, A. In either way, it must read the same way. Let's continue. But it says that if you add all of these digits together, you're going to obtain 22. So we are going to add all of these digits and set them to be equal to 22. So we, it means that A plus 3 plus A plus 3 plus A plus A, the whole of this must be equal to 22 according to the question. A, 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 there are four. So we have four A's. 3, 3, there are 2, we have 6. And this is equal to 22. We are going to solve for a substituted back in this expression to obtain the required number. Taking positive 6 to the right, it becomes negative. So we have 4, a equals 22 minus 6. Let me continue the other side. 22 minus 6 is 16. We have 4a equals 16. To find the value of a, we divide both sides by the coefficient of a, which is 4. So we have a to be equal to 16, divided by 4. And finally, a is equal to 4 because 16 divided by 4 is 4. Now let us substitute everything here. The first digit is A and A is 4, so we have 4 here. The second digit is 3 plus A, 
meaning 3 plus 4, which is 7. 3 plus 4 is also 7. And A is 4. Therefore, the digit, the required number is 4774. You can see the pattern remain the same. 4774, 4774. And let us add all of them together to see whether we're going to obtain 22 or not. Remember that 7 plus 7 is 14. 14 plus 4 is 18. Then 18 plus 4 is 22. And hence, this is the solution to this problem. 4774. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day. Yeah.